Hi folks, my name is Chris from Chris's Creation, and today I'll be showing you how to add text onto your Alice Rainbow. I'm going to be using Matt's PM4 interface to his own charger here, but this should work for basically any other Rainbow that has uh, this base, this like flat piece here on the front. Uh, this is the third time I'm recording this video because the previous two times I've done it over the past month, I did not really like it. So hopefully, third time I'm return. But uh, to start off, go to your material browser, make a new material. Name whatever you want, but uh, you know, you can just name it like Rambar Text. I'm just gonna name it that for now. And then just make it the same material that the regular Rambar, uh, the regular Rambar material. So if, it's, if your Rambar material is vehicle mesh, you put it in vehicle mesh. You put everything the same except uh, everything the same that uh, your Rambar has. So I'm fairly certain this is already the same. And then put the spec map as the your Rambar spec map. So in this case, Matt's one has this uh, custom made spec map for it. And don't put the um, same one that it uses for here in your detail because we're going to be changing that in a second. Anyhow, switch from your 3D view to your user mode if you're not already in it. Select your RAM bar. Go into polygon mode. And uh, some might use separated. But I will, I'll tell you why you shouldn't because it's going to, well, it's going to select all of this which you don't want. You don't want these ones up here. So you just, it's going to be a little bit tedious, but you're just going to select things manually like this. And you just got to make sure. Oh. I don't know why my Z modeler does that. You just got to make sure that it's, you know, on the outside of the RAM bar, you know, the correct spot. So right there and right there. So you select this whole piece right here. Now you can change it to uh, you know, the Rambar text material here, but uh, I usually don't do that till after. And yeah, make sure one of your other views is in the front of you, and then you can scroll in, switch one of your other views to the UV mapper, right click, make sure you have single off if you haven't already, go to mapping, edit UV, you press generate new. These are the settings I have. You can press force material onto mapping, and then Rambar text, press OK. Go over here, press material, press this. And then if this appears with like the blank, uh, the normal map that's on your RAM bar, that is fine because there is technically no detail for it, so it's just using some type of texture. Go into object mode, select it, and go to move it, scale it if you go to move it and scale it if you need to. In this case, we don't need to, so we already got it like that. We go and press uh, render, and then you know you can make them, you can make it however big you want. I'm just gonna keep it 124, uh, 1024 by 1024. Press render, and then that should be the only thing showing up. Press save, and then you're just gonna save it wherever you want. Uh, so now you can name it whatever you want. That uh, doesn't really matter because you can be changing this afterwards. So once you got it saved, you're gonna open up a new paint program of choice. You're gonna make a new layer and select your text and whatever uh, text you want to put on. So let's say in this case I want to put on uh, just uh, county sheriff. I recommend you make the uh, text you usually white because that's usually a good color to start off with and then you change it from there. Now, when you put the text, you leave some space between the endings because uh, on here, you can really close that. On here, the endings sometimes go into the RAM bar because that's just how the way they were made. So it's good to leave some space between the endings on the RAM bar, on the uh, UV map part of the RAM bar here. And your text. So once you got you know spaced out enough however you want it, go and go to your rectangle select tool or your equivalent, select your text, control uh, oh wait, I'm sorry, you don't need to do that. You want to select it? And I know paint.net has this tool, I'm not sure if uh, programs like um Photoshop have it, but you can go into move select pixels and this just moves it. So what you do is that you basically you know fit it on the y-axis, so up and down, onto here. And you can move, and then you can, you know, make it very wide on the x-axis. So something like that, that looks about fine. Once you got it like this, you go on and just uh, cut it, so the dance and dance right there. And you can go on and just color this black. Oh, there we go. And then just save it. And then uh, I recommend you save it as a, you know, just a file, you know, so I'm just actually just going to save it as uh, County Sheriff. Once we got it like that, you go back in Z modeler. You go here to your texture browser, you press add. You find wherever your texture is. 
So in my case, it's right here. Press OK. Go back into your material browser. Go back to the material that you made for your Rembar text. Go into detail. And it should already be selected. Press OK. And there you go. You got some Rembar text. And that's why I recommend using the spec map that the Rembar material is using because it will, you know, go on and blend in and whatnot. There won't be any obvious, you know, color differences or anything like that. Anyhow, if you all have any questions, you feel free to ask them in the comments or join my Discord. I recommend you join my Discord as I'm not on YouTube that often. I'm usually on here either to listen to some music or to, you know, upload a video like this. Anyhow, you all have a good one. And, uh, yeah.